Okay, now, um, so I've uh, finished up my bearings, just the south bearing, and um, if you use Balti Birch, I would recommend putting on a layer of uh, Formica, smooth Formica, which I've done here, put on Formica. And I also cut this one off because you don't need all that extra sag on there. You, you only need an area, at least six inches on the edge for tracking. And I also, um, you gotta find the center mark of, of this bearing. And to do that, I took a, um, a square and set it to some distance and then came over and made a mark on this edge and then to the same height they made a mark on this edge and then divided that distance by two and found my center mark because you gotta you have to have that center mark same way with the, the south bearing I made a mark and found, found the, the center for that so now I, I uh, got shadows here uh, I cut out my top piece and this is the bottom this is the bottom side of the top piece and you uh, it's very important you, you need to find the the uh, the center of the back edge and the, you need to uh, take a square and find a uh, a distance you know, well for, you could draw a line I, I only need a, a mark um, and for this uh, for this platform it needs to be 13 7 eighths uh, 13.78 inches uh, that is from the back edge of the south bearing to the the back edge of the front bear of the north bearing and then after you do that you want to uh, make a um, Draw a mark from that point um, over to the edge on both sides, which which will be parallel to the back edge, and uh, that's where your uh, north bearing is going to go. You're going to put it on the center mark of your north bearing and make sure that the, the these marks on the edge line up with your center mark, and that's where you want to be and put it in place and to do that um, to make it sturdy I, I uh, cut out some some triangles and these are the complementary angle which is 50 degrees for our 40 degrees latitude and these will go underneath the front for bracing on both sides and actually a couple a couple in the front like so and in the same way for the for the south, you want to put a couple of uh, braces on the back edge um, so that there's no flex, so, so this becomes a good solid piece. And there I'm going to glue it there and and um, screw it on. So I've glued on my triangles, and you want to do those first because whenever you put your um, bearing on and a slight toenail it's going to push it forward and you you're, you won't be on your uh, your distance will not come out right so um, I have already uh, glued those on then I, I uh, found my center mark on my center mark and then I pre-drilled holes for my screws I use uh, a number six one and a quarter inch long uh, stainless screws and countersink them so I uh, did that on the south bearing too, so I'm all set to go here. So I just want to run some glue. And then run some glue down your supports. And I'll line that up on my center mark. my screws in. So that's attached 
in the right spot. I'm going to do the same thing for the south bearing. Oops, it's pre drilled and ready to go. There we go. And we gotta trim trim the edges a little bit, but the this top uh, platform is all finished. Okay, so now that the top platform is finished, uh, it's time to do the ground board for the platform. And I've already cut it out the same shape as the, the top platform, except for the profile in the front, which I'll do later. Um, you could do this on CAD, but I don't do it on CAD because it's really not necessary. So what I've done is I've, I've got some spacers here that are three inches that they're going to keep this top platform parallel to the to the base and I've set this uh, check that it's right above the base uh, baseboard and um, now we have to work on the uh, wall bearing block and I've already made this block here. Basically, I took three pieces of uh, Baltic birch, laminated them together, and made it uh, uh, basically this shape. You want to make sure that we have the the uh, complementary angle, which is 50 degrees. Uh, what we want to do now is. Um, we want to mark where to put the ball bearings, and what I do is put this block um, right up against the south bearing, and I'll trace with a pencil the, the edge of the, the bearing on both sides. And that'll determine where the ball bearing runs, and then I need to drill uh, a couple of office holes for the ball bearings um, on this block and one on the top. This this top block is 90 degrees and you need one ball bearing on the top. I uh, took my bearing block and cut off uh, some 8 millimeter uh, diameter threaded rod studs. These are eight metric 8 threads because I'm using a 8 millimeter ID stainless steel bearing. I think these are uh, used on sk skates. Um, pretty cheap off of eBay. You want to use stainless steel bearings. And I cut a stud and you, um, I drilled and tapped into the wood one inch deep. And, and I'll just, you just uh, put a couple nuts on and then screw it in and towards the end you'll have to use a wrench and just bring it down and then when it's right distance you just take your nuts off and then put the bearing on and tighten that down and I did the same with the other two you want to be sure that you drill perpendicular to the faces so that the studs are perpendicular so this goes on here and let's put our platform on and with, with this in place I took my one one spacer out and this should fit nicely like so it should should still have the same three inches uh, spacing. And uh, here's what it looks like from underneath. So here's the bearing block from the back side. You need to have the bearing uh, extend off a little bit to form a little gap 
just for clearance and that looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and glue the block uh, there in place so um, I've got my ball bearing block glued on and the next thing we need to do is make some uh, motor motor blocks and um, pillow blocks and what I do is take two pieces of a half inch um, delrin, stick them in a vise on the drill press and drill a hole through the center right through the middle and one nice thing about using the standard stainless steel shafts is that it usually corresponds to a standard drill size so uh, that's all you need to do is just drill a hole through and it fits the shaft you have to take on a lathe or have it done drill an eighth inch hole down the center a half inch deep and then put a set screw in it uh, I do it on a mini lathe but uh, any any machine shop can do that okay after I drill up my um, delrin I I mounted on a um, motor block which is basically two and a quarter square uh, three quarter inch thick piece of um, Baltic birch and then I glue on uh, another piece of poplar on top of that so it's inch and a uh, 1.4 inches tall. The way this works is the motor will go on here and then we'll uh, take and put some screws to mount it on there and this will go on the front of the, the platform. Um, you have to make, uh, you have to countersink some some screws to bolt these down and then I always use a uh, one screw in the center of the block to hold it down so it, it could rotate it to get the right uh, orientation. And I also grind away um, <clears throat> uh, each side at an angle for clearance so that the, the um, bearing doesn't rub against the, the plastic. And these are left and right. You need one on the left and one on the right. So now once you get your motor blocks made, you want to put this put them underneath your um, platform. I have a spacer under here so to keep my three inch uh, distance. Uh, one of the things you want to check, you want to check uh, that your uh, uh, drive shaft should be come out to about three inches if you did everything right, which will be right underneath the, the foot. Okay, so now I've cut out my front edge profile. It's, it's a half inch in front of my north bearing. Sanded everything down. Then I'm ready to mount my motor blocks on. I've got, um, got them mounted down. They, they should be equidistant on both sides. And they also should be flush with the, the bearing. And you, I had to shim, and you'll probably have to shim the motor block so that it's flush with the, with the bearing. Um, also, we need to um, glue on a couple of uh, feet. Um, uh, this should be right underneath your screw so everything is in straight line. Also, I, I, uh, I uh, drilled and um, knocked in a, a brass insert for the leveling screw. It's a 5 sixteenths leveling foot. You need to be sure that the uh, edge of the, the bearing lays flat against the drive shaft as it just moves back and forth. Also notice that I drilled and tapped and put a uh, 832 uh, nylon screw on the corner. That's for protection so that it stops the platform from going off on either edge. When I was just a little bitty boy 